Now, for reactions of diols, we do have to consider whether or not the diols are vicinal, or, yeah, vicinal, meaning that they're on adjacent carbons, or if these, al if these diols are on separate parts of the molecule. Because we're talking about diols, diols, and because we're talking about synthesis, we tend to work with a lot of reactions that focus on making vicinal diols, but just do keep in mind that if they're not vicinal, they're probably going to act just like a normal alcohol. Just the same thing with alkenes. Unless they're conjugated alkenes, they're probably going to act just like normal alkenes in terms of reactions. But I do want to focus on one reaction that's specific to vicinal diols, and this is the reaction of um, iodic acid. So if we have... something that looks like this. So we have two alcohols which are vicinal to one another. We create this diol by taking perhaps the alkene and adding potassium permanganate or for a fancy rich goal, osmium tetroxide. And we add iodic acid, HiO4. What happens? Well, it's a complicated mechanism, so we're not gonna show it, but we're, what we are gonna show is the end result and how you find it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the bond between the carbons connecting the vicinal diols. So we've got one, two, three, four, four carbons. And this one we've got one, two, three, four. <coughs> now let's put these OH groups back, but we're just gonna put them back as a placeholder. So on this one, the OH group ends up on the ends. And on this one here, the OH ends up as on the secondary carbon. This is not the product. You don't end up with the two alcohols. What you end up doing is taking these alcohols and forming an oxygen carbon double bond. So if this OH group, because this OH group is on the end of this chain, we end up forming the aldehyde with one part. And because this alcohol is not on the end of the chain, we break off, we end up getting the ketone. So your iodic acid, your HiO4, is actually going to break diols into aldehydes and ketones. And this is originally what the reaction was used for, was it took these organic compounds that had vicinal alcohols and broke them down into aldehydes and ketones for subsequent analysis. How do you keep track of what you form? Well, do what I just did. Draw a red line, or draw a line, between the bonds connecting the vicinal diols. Write out the carbon chain as you see without the line connected to it, put your alcohol on there and then convert your alcohol to a carbonyl, an oxygen carbon double bond. And this will give you the products of the iodate reaction.